a week ago, none of this steel was present. So follow the update to see how it got here. Monday dawned bright and sunny, with columns rising quickly on the south wall. A look across the site revealed the forms being removed from the east wall. Elsewhere, the team from Green for Life took care of removing potentially contaminated groundwater. Later in the day, they would return to remove one of the storage tanks altogether. Across the site, a few remaining piers and pillars received attention. As the day wore on and the number of columns steadily increased, it was time to start installing cross pieces. That meant bringing the elevated work platforms into service for the first time. The pace of progress was quite extraordinary. And as the steelwork progressed, form workers continued coaxing reluctant forms off the east wall. Blessed with fine conditions, the work progressed quickly on Tuesday too. There was no danger of running out of steel with four deliveries that day. Of course, every arrival is followed later by a departure. Preparations to install wall forms occupied the form workers in the morning, but in the afternoon, the first forms were being placed and levelled and secured. Their earlier work to prepare piers and pillars would be rewarded with a major concrete pour. Environmental engaged in the preparation of a new water main and shoring up the newly exposed section of the east wall. Progress was rapid. And all the while, the iron workers are converting steel into structure. Wednesday saw the arrival of yet more steel.
there was no question of a break for either the forklift or the iron workers themselves. With just a few remaining pillars to be formed up and poured, the form workers were busy employing a chalk string. Work on the water main installation continued with a mix of careful handwork and a contribution from the excavator. The forklift was kept pretty busy. It was interesting to watch it work with the crane to reduce the load on the jib. As the steel structure grew, it was necessary occasionally to reposition the crane. The surveyor, on whose precise positioning everything hangs, is a busy man. We'll bring Wednesday's coverage to a close, watching an excavator deliver gravel to consolidate a section of the water main. Steel construction was paused on Thursday, but the water main installation went ahead at full pace. Work on the main included the preparation of a standing pipe, which was in place by day's end. The day also saw some of the last pillars poured. Over on the north wall, work continued to build up the forms required for a concrete pour next week. Great care must be taken, not only in positioning these forms, but in their transport. They are heavy. Both experience and skill are required to maintain safety. With the iron workers safely off site, I thought you might be interested to see just how much steel work has been accomplished. Thanks for watching this update. Please consider subscribing if you want to know what happens next.